<laughs> yeah, is, is that a skill, is it? Um, no, listen, first and foremost was, was to win the game. That was the important thing. Um, uh, and I'm absolutely delighted for the players because they've put in an awful lot since I've came to the club, put in an awful lot this afternoon. You know, so many players out there at the end uh, have got cramp and everything else, and that's, that's the bare minimum. And to be successful, that's what you need. And, you know, today as well, I get a little bit of luck along the way. Um, you know, I thought Allah were fantastic in spells. I think they started the game a lot better than us. Um, we then go in 2-0 at half-time and could have potentially been 4-0. Um, and then, you know, Ross keeper pulls off a fantastic save from him, but, you know, big Kevin at the other end, um, you know, pulls off an absolute brilliant save um, when it's 2-1, you know, with a couple of minutes to go. And, you know, I said to, to their manager after the game, I, I don't understand football, um, you know, because it could have been 5-3, it could have been 5-5, you know, but we'd like to go away from here, you know, with a 2-1 win. It was a big game this afternoon, probably... Subconsciously, the pressure was on this one today. There's no pressure in football. Listen, we're doing something that, that we all enjoy. You know, if, if pressure's going to get to you in football, then you're in the wrong job. You know, you have to you have to enjoy it. And as I said to the players, you know, people will speak about pressure uh, on this game, but you put yourselves in this position because you worked extremely hard. Now you have to go and embrace it. It's no time to feel pressure now and start saying, you know, performances are going to start slipping or start dropping points. Go and embrace it. Go and be big characters, go and be big individuals and go and be a big team. And, and the lads did that today. And the result today has really given them a, a real chance of getting yeah. that top four place. Well, yeah, that, that's for other people to speak about. You know you know how I am with this and it's just about closing that gap. One of the teams above us and we've managed to do that today, obviously by beating Alloa. Um, you know, so for me that was all it was about. You know, a team that has a fantastic home record. I think coming into this game, they're the joint best home record in the league. Um, and we came here and beaten them 2-1. So that's all it's about for me. Um, would I prefer a more comfortable victory? You know, one that kept my heart rate a lot lower, 100%. Um, but, you know, these players will be the death for me, but I love them. I, I genuinely do, and they're giving me everything today. You talked there about the players being out on the feet. I think you in the dugout as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I need, to check my, I need to check my steps after this. You know, I think, I think one of my rings closed, actually, on the side of the pitch. It doesn't happen often. So, yeah, listen... We've, we're all in this together, you know, staff and players and, and everyone within this football club are in this together. Um, but, you know, that, it's the hard job is for those boys who are out there, you know. And again, I always say it's not about the boys who just start, it's about everybody. You know, some of the boys that didn't come on today, some boys not in the squad, but we're all in this together. And, you know, it's fantastic for them to get that win. And, and as I said to them, you know, go and rest up now and we'll go again next week. Can you believe from when you came in to now that you'd be in the position that you're in now? No, that, but that's down to the players working hard. That's down to them taking on board what me and the staff are trying to do and then, then going and implementing that on a week-to-week -week basis. So, you know, the reaction we've had is down to them. You know, they've worked extremely hard to get us in this position, um, but it means absolutely nothing. You know, I think come the 6th of May, I think that's the last game, then we can speak about where you are in the league. At this moment in time, we've got some big games coming up. First and foremost, the next one's away to Dunfermline, a difficult venue to go to, so that's my sole focus. And anything that's happened prior to that, it's not important. Um, you know, we are where we are because we deserve to be there, but we have to keep working hard now. It just keeps this run going as well. You know, that's six now, you want seven, and then just see where it takes you. Sandra, you're getting this, aren't you? Exactly that, I want seven. You know, can, can we take it to seven games unbeaten? You know, last week it was about, you know, we've not won three games in a row all season. You know, we've now won four games in a row, which is fantastic, you know, but let's park that up. You know, let's not think our egos are, are bigger than anything else. Let's, let's park that up. Let's work hard next week. Let's try and extend this unbeaten run. And if we can get a victory on the way, absolutely fantastic. Uh, and that's, as I said, my, my sole focus.